everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can paint on water with just a few simple steps and a few simple ingredients that I made. First, what you need, you need is a shallow try or you can use this one or you can use any other, any other bowl. I just put the water inside. The water is very important in the process because the water must be clear no small bubbles inside. Any small bubbles inside can make the color breaking and fall down, deep down. So you need to take, this one is a tap water that I just take. I pour it inside and I just make sure that the water are clear, very clear. Okay, if you can find small bubbles inside, just put it aside for a while and then you have the completely clear water. So first we need is our water. Second, second ingredient the, is the stabilizer ingredients. We have two kinds of them. One of them is clear one, this is the base, and the other one is the stabilizer itself. It's more milky one, and we will use it later on when I show you in next step how to prepare the water. Third, we need the paints. I'm going to send you those paints. Those paints I made exactly for you, especially for you, sorry. And last one, we need small sticks. The sticks we're going to put deep inside the, the paint and then just paint on the water. And you'll see it in the next step. So, see you in the next step. Preparing the water. The water is very important for the whole process. I'm taking a tap water very clear tap water as you can see no small bubbles inside no micro bubbles just clear plain water i'm using my base and my stabilizer the base is clear the stabilizer is milky for each liter of water one liter of water i'm pouring this pipette is for three milliliters I'm pouring 12 milliliter of base and then after mixing it 12 milliliter of the milky one for the stabilizer so let's go for the first one three milliliters very important six milliliters do not mix between those two nine and exactly 12 milliliter for each one liter of water I mix it a little bit just to make sure it, it's all then we can step for the next ingredient the stabilizer itself the milky one Again, for one liter of liquid of water, we are pouring 12 milliliter of the ingredient. You will see the water will become a little bit milky. And this one is a good sign. Six. nine and 12 milliliter now very easily you will see that the water will become clear again 
not clear as before it will be a little bit with haze but still not milky this is our marbling water on those water we are going to work now we can wait like a few minutes to make the whole process, the chemical process to complete and then we can start painting on our water so let's just wait like something like two minutes and then start start the painting process so see you on painting process next stage After I finish making the water, I want to make sure that the surface is clear and it's clean. I put a paper towel on top of it. And this way, if a small bubble or other bubble were raising on the top, they will disappear. Also for small particles and stuff like this. I throw it away. I still see that I have a small bubbles. So I do it again. And this is it. And now we can test the surface of the water to see if how it reacts with our paint. I'm starting with the red one. Just a small drop. I put it on the surface and I see what happened. Great. You see how it react, how it open. Okay? If it's not opening and it's staying, meaning that the liquid our water are too thin so we need to pour a little bit more to add a little bit more water but if it spread too much it means that it's we need we need to put some more of our milky stuff the stabilizer just a little bit but this this one is completely great so let's go forward I take another color Great And we can move for more and more colors Just to test and to see how everything reacts just mix a little bit the, the paint after you open it and just put a small drop on the top and see how it open let's take another one Great. And let's see how we can how we can play. I'm taking a piece of paper, just putting it on top. Yeah. 
And here is our marble. When it comes to 3D painting object, it's very important that the container will be deep enough so it, we can put the object inside and then get it outside. And we make the, the right preparation. So in this case, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make the bracelets and uh, maybe the pottery. And let's start. First we clean the water again, make sure that the surface is clean enough. Next we start painting. I'm using red, purple, let's do some green and a little bit orange as I mentioned previously we don't need to put too many colors because if it will be too saturated the paint will sink now let's shape it a little bit This is the easy, the easy way. Okay. I have one here, I already made before. So you just take it and dip it inside. Slowly and easily. I take it out and it's all painted. I can put it aside to dry. And still I can use if I still have enough color inside I can I can use the same one. So let's do the pottery. Just take it and slowly dip it inside. Done. This is it, very simple. If you want to keep going, just clean the water again. And we can go for the next session. This is it. Very nice and very easy.